Hey everybody, welcome back to the Stone House. Couple things I guess to talk about. I got a new lens for the camera. It may look a little different. I'm looking at myself and it definitely looks different to me. The one I've got on the camera right now is a 28 to 105. So what's cool about that, I'll try to show you here. There's a little bit of zoom factor. But I was hoping with this lens, what I could do is if I was working on something and I didn't want to move the camera, maybe I could zoom in and stay in focus. We're gonna try it out and see. All right, so uh, first things first, my furnace is on right now, but this is what you would refer to as your cold air return. And today the sheet rocker is going to be sanding. I do have a really nice filter downstairs. Some of you maybe saw that in the last couple of videos. It's a five and a half inch thick HEPA filter. And that filter is really good. But you wanna make sure that none of this dust gets into your boiler system. I don't know if that's the proper way to say it, the boiler system, but either way, so if this dust gets sucked in here and it gets through my filter and gets onto my coil and then takes any moisture on, it'll just turn right to hard. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's just like crusty, you know, like hard mud. And you don't want that to happen. That can probably not ruin the uh, air exchanger, but it definitely wouldn't be good for it. So what I did, picked up the cheapest HEPA filter that you could get. That will pre-filter the air a little bit at least just to keep some of the dust out of the system and then hopefully anything that gets by this filter will get stopped when it hits my, um, my other filter. All right, that's pretty good. For those of you that are new or just tuning in or watching this one video, this old wood that I'm sanding and it's gonna go on the ceiling here at the top of the stairs. It's gonna look awesome. Just a lot of sanding. that's gonna about do it for me today it's about two o'clock I didn't get as much done but I I got some done four five six more to do that's pretty good pretty happy about that one other thing I wanted to talk about some of you know probably and some of you don't know but I do work for the federal government and um, recent news and this is gonna be a week after it happens, but we just shut down last night. And it looks like I could be going on a furlough for a while. Um, I guess that's good and bad. I have a lot of work to do at work and I don't like taking <laughs> unplanned time off because the work and the emails and everything are pretty relentless. I guess we'll just see, you know, if the furlough is for one week or two weeks or one day, we'll see. But we're going to stop spending money because my paychecks will not be coming in. So we're not going to be buying materials and 
or anything like that. But I'm in a pretty good place right now. I, I really just need sandpaper. I do need to buy some primer for upstairs because we need to get the sheetrock primed. It is what it is. I, you know, it's out of my control. Um, I just hope that they all figure it out and we can get back to work. But yeah, so that's going to do it for today. I'm going to be back tomorrow and try to get these boards done. Put a lot of time into it. It's at least, it's at least been 12 hours of straight sanding. I just had to go buy more sandpaper. I just can't keep fighting with this. Did you know sandpaper, the sand that's on the paper is actually moon dust. I didn't know that. It's moon dust. At least that's the only thing that can explain why sandpaper is $25 for a pack. This is $25, $25, $50 in sandpaper. And the only way that that can be explained is if the sand that's on this is from the moon. So that's what I'm gonna assume, it's moon dust. In that case, I can't believe they can honestly go up there and get enough sand dust to make the sandpaper and then charge only $25. What a deal, what a, <laughs> what a deal. Hey Siri, what time does the sun come up? 7.34? I told myself I wasn't gonna work on Christmas Eve, but I'm in the middle of this project for the ceiling and I've been just working so hard on it, trying to get all the sanding and everything done. And I'm so close. So I just figured, you know, if I get up really early and I go work on it and I'm home by like nine or 10 o'clock in the morning, then that's not that bad. Hey, good morning. Can I get a large coffee with just a couple creams? And then I'm gonna get one of those sausage, egg, and cheese things, thingamajigs. Oh, it's hot. It's hot, 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 hot. I'm just a no to make you smile.
You may not be able to see here. I try to show you. I just put on this last piece here, and for some reason, this this piece here is up farther than this piece. This piece is tight. It can't go any tighter. So it's like this piece needs to come down. Not trying to be a perfectionist, but I think I can fix this by, I'll have to remove the insulation. And I made this little wedge thing. And what I'm gonna be able to do is get that up underneath um, and wedge this board out, just down a little bit. So then this is more flush. And it seems maybe real picky, but I only get one shot to do this like as good as possible. I want, to, I want to try to do the best job that I can. And if you can't see it, I'm sorry. The camera is really good at hiding small imperfections. And that's why some of you think that I'm like a really good carpenter. 